Hey, fabulous fourth graders. Today we are finishing up our relative pronouns. So we are going to watch this lovely video for a moment. So I want you to turn your attention to the screen where we talk about pronouns, relative pronouns, and relative clauses. I'm Kerry. In this video, you'll be learning about relative pronouns. <laughs> a relative pronoun introduces a subordinate clause. What is a subordinate clause? A subordinate or dependent clause does not express a complete thought and cannot stand by itself as a sentence. For example, mom took the garbage that we had collected to the dump. That we had collected is the subordinate clause in this sentence. Mom took the garbage to the dump can stand on its own, but that we had collected cannot stand by itself as a sentence. Another example. Do you know what Susie Q named her pet turtle? What Susie Q named her pet turtle cannot stand alone as a sentence. It's a subordinate or dependent clause. However, do you know can stand on its own as a sentence? Another example. When Roger Proof read his essay, he found several errors. When Roger Proof read his essay is the dependent clause because it cannot stand on its own as a sentence. However, he found several errors can stand on its own. That which, who, whom, and whose are the five relative pronouns. For example, the museum that you saw is a historical landmark. The relative pronoun that has an adjective clause that identifies the museum. Another example. He is the man who is running for mayor. The relative pronoun who has an adjective clause that tells us something about the man. Another example. I took my car, which was filthy, to the car wash. The relative pronoun which has an adjective clause that tells us something interesting about my car. Time to get serious. Time to get serious. Let's practice. Identify the relative pronouns in each sentence. Complete the mission. Time's up, and here are the answers. Great job, guys. Thanks for watching, guys. Like, subscribe, and share. And All right, kiddos, I'm hoping you got most of those correct.
So what you're going to do is you're going to head back to that relative pronouns task cards. And you are going to finish questions 16 through 31. So hopefully today's video helps a little bit, especially if you were still confused at the end of yesterday's video. Hopefully this cleared up some of those misconceptions. So I want you all to do a fantastic job, finish up these task cards and get them turned in. I will see you later on for some more writing.